congressmen, have a yeah. congressional dinner, and uh, it's, it's a great opportunity. You know, you have, you have um, schools here in your area. You know, I'd be more than happy to, you know, encourage you to encourage them to participate next year. Lastly, I do, um, I am the local lead for veteran issues. I just want to, you know, let you know that we just co-sponsored a bill. It's called the um, Protecting Veterans Educational Choice Act. So basically there was a hole where uh, my dad transferred his GI Bill to me. Um, that's how I went to school. But there is a, there is a hole where um, veterans who start, for instance, in a community college or any other college transfer over using their um, GI Bill, but some of those classes don't transfer over, therefore they lose money, right? So this is a bill to, you know, uh, better protect them so when they, um, when they um, do decide to transfer, if they do decide to transfer, all their classes stay intact, they're still on the course, and they don't lose um, that GI Bill money that they fought so hard. Um, um, other than that, I mean, we are going to miss you. I, I know this is my first meeting. I don't have certs, but I do offer hugs. So, um, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> So uh, lastly, thank you for having me. Kenny LaSalle, Office of Congressman Tony Cardenas, here to serve. Thank you. Thank you, Kenny. Thank you, brother. It's a hug. Do you have a card? Um, first and foremost, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Thank you, thank you very much. I hope you had a great Sunday. Um, Saha Gedalin here from Council District 2. I just have a, uh, a few um, notices, updates. <coughs> this coming Sunday, we are having the Valley Glen Community Festival open to the public, free admission. Uh, pony rides, moon bounces, little arcade games for kids, petting zoos, pet adoption, cats, dogs, anything you find at the park, um, please stop by at the Valley Glen Park. Uh, cross Street is Irwin and Ethel. Um, other than that, I want to kind of congratulate the Van Nuys uh, Neighborhood Council. You guys do have a new park now, Greenwood Square Park. It's on the corner of Sherman Way and Hazeltine. Uh, it's a KB Home Development. Uh, our office worked to get KB Homes to, to open up a new park. Van Nuys needs a lot more parks than we already have, so we wanted to make sure we got a park in where we could. Other than that, we also have a lunch with the councilman tomorrow in Studio City uh, at Common Sea on Ventura Boulevard. If anyone has questions about that, please let me know. I am also here for the next 15 minutes. If anybody has Council District 2 questions, we are looking to plant more trees in our district. So if anyone would like to adopt a tree, we're trying to plant close to 400 trees. So if you have a location, if you have somebody, somebody who would want to water it and take care of it, we will get you the tree you need. Thank you. We do have certs, but we don't have just certs for both of you. We have about four or five certs in the making. I want to congratulate the new board and hopefully we'll have a better year. Thank you guys. Hello everyone. Hello. So today it's going to be really brief. I wanted to announce that we're having our 36th annual government day. I left some flyers over there. It's the little blue ones. I, I don't know if there are any left, but I'll get this one. So pretty much what um, the government day is, we have different federal, state, county, and city departments to come out and talk to the community about what different I am departments that they do. So, I mean, different issues that they have and what they work on. So, for example, we have the Department of Motor and Vehicles who comes out and you can talk to them about any issues regarding 
DMV. We have the county who comes out as well, and you can just learn about the different departments. So this is going to be held on August 6th from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. over at the Panorama Mall. And that's going to be over at 8401 Van Nuys Boulevard in Panorama City. We have the phone number. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to give us a call to let us know. Um, if you have any questions or if you want more information on this, it's going to be from, like I said, from 10 to 1, the assembly member is going to stop by. And it's a wonderful opportunity to just learn more about what different the various agencies have to offer. The other thing I want to inform you is that we're going to have our second annual Art Walk event. It's going to be on June 4th from 10 to 1 p.m. And we're working with Adele, who is in the Cal Arts um, School. So we're going to have animation. We're going to have arts and crafts for the students. LACMA is going to be sponsoring this with us. And what's going to be, it's going to be a wonderful opportunity for the community to come out, learn about the different high school and middle school paintings that the students have drawn, have some professional artists come out and display their work as well. There's going to be live exhibition painting. So there are going to be live artists just drawing right on the spot. We're going to have musical performances from various high schools and middle schools from the Van Nuys area. So once again, it's a great way to promote the Van Nuys culture and the different activities that the youth are doing. One thing I do want to stress is we don't have the flyers right now. I will be creating them shortly. But LACMA is going to be offering free next-gen memberships to the students. So that means, as I'm sure everyone knows, already a student or a child can go to LACMA for free, but the parent has to pay $10. With this next-gen membership, if you go the day of uh, um, to our art walk, what's going to happen is the child, let's say, is six years old, signs up, and then a parent is able to go with the child for free at all times until the child who's six turns 18. Wow. So that that means if you get a baby, an infant, that's 18 years where LACMA is going to be able to just allow the kid to come in. So it's a great opportunity for everyone in the Van Nuys community to come out and have an opportunity to go to LACMA throughout the entire child's, um, well, the kid's life when he's young. So that's a great opportunity. I definitely want to stress that. And as soon as I have those flowers, I'll definitely be passing those out as well. The other thing I want to do is, where are you going to pass oh, I'm so sorry. That's going to be over at a state building. So right across the street where we had it last time, it's going to be on the first three floors. We're trying to get the fourth one as well. And it's going to be a wonderful opportunity. As soon as you walk right in, we're going to have our sign-in sheets and <coughs> sign-in tables, and we're also going to have LACMA right next to us. So it's a great opportunity for everyone to come out. Um, the other thing I do want to mention is that we do have certificates for a couple of the board members. The first one I want to present to you is to George. Thank you, George, for everything you've done. And thank you for your four years of service as president. It's been amazing, and it's always a pleasure to work with this neighbor council. I know, it goes by fast. Right. Well, you're still honorary, honorary mayor, aren't you? Thank you. Yeah. Until the next president's sworn in. Thank you very much. Honorary mayor. Yes. It's not, that's part of the title. And then the other one that I would love Separate. to get, give a certificate to, is to Howard Benjamin. So, we, so Howard, I want to thank you. You've also been so instrumental in everything that we've done throughout the years, especially for the past year. So, thank you. Thank you so much. And one final one. Jeanette. Oh, I didn't get forgotten. I would never forget you. <laughs> Thank you so oh much. God, I can't even get up. I'll go there. <laughs> Thank you for everything you've done. Oh, I, I do love hope you. you still You're still wrong. Oh, hey, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. On board, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. There you go, Janet. Oh, oh and I look like garbage because well, I didn't wear a nice shirt. Okay. Turn the certificate around to the Oh, whoops, that would help, wouldn't it? That comes yeah, up show the Don't cover your face. Come on, you got to put it below the AMPM. So you got to do a little advert out, Jeanette. Yeah. It's AMPM. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So thank you, and as always, I'm in the back if you have any questions or want more information about Government Day or any other um, events that we're planning. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to take a picture. All right, any other elected officials' offices?
Good evening, I'm David Gonzalez. I'm here today on behalf of school board member Monica Ratliff, and I'd like to invite you to two events uh, this week. First, we're hosting a job fair this Friday at the North Valley Occupational Center from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 uh, p.m. And I have some flyers uh, here by the sign-in sheet with uh, a list of employers that will be there. So if you know anyone who's looking for work, uh, please let them know about this opportunity. And Saturday is going to be busy for the citizens of Van Nuys because we are also hosting an event, an art celebration at Van Nuys High School. So after you go to your cleanup, stop by. It'll be the, we'll be there from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we'll have performances, music, art, and food brought to you by students from throughout uh, the Northeast San Fernando Valley. And I also have uh, flyers for this event up front. So we look forward to seeing you there. Um, as always, we're here to help you with any of... Um, What's yes? that date? That's this Saturday, May 14th. May 14th. Yes, at Van Nuys High School. <laughs> uh, as always, if you have any questions regarding your local public schools, uh, we're here to help you, as well as with any education policy issues, as well as uh, my colleague over at uh, Board District 3. Thank you. Thank you. All right, anybody from the White House? Let me just speak quick. The governor's office. Give me time. Amanda doesn't need the microphone. Uh, thank you, Rabina, for taking point on the field trips to the uh, national parks. That's going to be really cool for a lot of kids. We'll make sure you get pictures, and Van Nuys Neighbor Council get some credit for that as well when you uh, vote on it and make it happen. Uh, the art festival at Van Nuys High School on Saturday is going to be a really cool event. I highly encourage you to stop by. I think over 20 schools are going to have art, music, pr presentations, dances, their bands, all sorts of organizations and groups will be, be there at Van Nuys High School in your backyard. I hope you stop by for at least a little bit. It It'll be backyard. beautiful. And then school board member Schmerlson's office, the one that I represent, is hiring a field rep. We're hiring somebody that does about the same thing as I did. Um, I've already gotten the application to Stacy. I think she would be a good applicant. I hope she does. But it's open to anyone else. You could definitely contact her if you're interested. I get paid $39,500 a year so it's not a lot but it's around that that range so again we want to be you know engaging the community make sure that we're recruiting out of the community and and being uh, you know thoughtful participants so again Van Nuys High School on Saturday come out it's gonna be cool apply for a job with your school board member that's an opportunity if you're up for it and uh, always ready to answer and handle any questions you have about public schools we split Van Nuys so like Van Nuys Middle School is in Board District 3 Van Nuys High School is in Board District 6 um, either way they're all our kids this is great have a good day thank you thank, thank you, you. Senator staff. Uh, County Supervisors. What's Hertzberg? Uh, All right, without further ado, 8A, the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council to officially elect the council president. The council president will serve a one year term as for the Go ahead. bylaws. The council president you two will do it together. The presidency immediately after being elected. You guys want to do it together? I am turned down, so I cannot huh? run. Over. <laughs> can you walk? So now what? <laughs> you can crawl? We can extend you know, for another year. No. No. <laughs> no. Good. Thank you, though. Is there anybody throwing their hat into the ring for the council presidency? I will. All right, we have Jason Ackerman. Yeah. Anybody else? Uh, I wish to make a nomination. I wish to nominate Jeffrey Lynn. I think he's the president. Thank you. All right. I concur. I second that. Yeah. I He's not here. He's not here. <laughs> he can still be nominated. He can still be nominated. He can still be elected. Well, I was, I was going to throw my name in there. Uh, all right. And then uh, follow on. Can we turn your hat to the ring? Yes, sir. All right. So, uh, anybody else from the council on the council president, John Sparrow? I would like to endorse uh, Mr. Jeffrey Lynn. Thank you, thank you. Es Esquire attorney and uh, council member on the board. Anybody else? All right, so what we'll do uh, is we'll have a two minute opening statement. If anyone has any questions for the candidates, They'll have a minute to respond. We'll have the same question for all four. And uh, closing statements, and then we'll vote as a council. 
And then that person will take the uh, right here. Oh. And I purchased what? a brand new gavel for that a individual. Candy. Candy. Oh, that's really loud. All right, so um, let's do it in yes, order what? of Candy. who is throwing, uh, throwing their hat into the ring. Candy. So we'll go Ackerman, Lynn, and Paulinon. Uh, two minute statement on. Candy. Uh, she looks like Will's wife. Should we take the president? Should we take the podium or should we just stay in seat? Uh, sure, Will Hernandez's wife. Why not? That'll be good. That's the point. Yep, uh, Mr. <laughs> Benjamin, Will our uh, <laughs> vice president for the next 10 minutes, will be timing this. <laughs> Hernandez. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen of the board of the Van Nuys Neighbor Council and those brave souls who are sticking through this meeting. My name is Jason Ackerman. I am a four year veteran of the Neighborhood Council system. Uh, until recently, I was on the Encino Neighbor Council, but I'm exclusively Van Nuys now. I have extensive experience within the system. I've been a budget rep. I've gone to LENC meetings, VANC meetings. Um, I've been to the Sustainability Alliance. I've gone to Congress every year. I know the players. I know uh, I'm on a very good um, basis with uh, the presidents of Encino, Lake Balboa, um, Sherman Oaks. Uh, so the Sepulveda Basin has been a very keen interest in mine. Uh, but one of the th so two of the things I'm very passionate about that I really want to bring to the Van Nuys Neighborhood Council. One is I want to get us out of here by nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to get us out of here by nine o'clock. Um, and one of the things that I see as a necessary step to doing that is fixing our bylaws. Um, so we don't get hung by our bylaws over and over again. And I, I know it's tedious and boring, but we got to get through it. We got to do it right and, and set the record, um, you know, get it all lined up nice and pretty so we can not have to deal with this Michigas ever again. So true. Um, uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to challenge all of you to um, dedicate five hours a week to the neighborhood council. Um, the executive officers have, you know, George has dedicated 50 hours a week, just about. Big job. I'm pretty sure he's got a time turner, which is where he's getting all these extra hours for your Harry Potter fans. Um, guess not, the wrong crowd. Anyway, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I want to keep things fun, but I also want to respect your time and the audience's time and, and get us out here in an oral, get us in and out in an orally fashion. Um, there's a lot of work to be done. George has done a great job, and I want to build on that. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, all of you know me here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I've been an attorney for 34 years. I've been a member of this council for two years. Uh, I came here representing my neighborhood in a situation which unfortunately remains ongoing. Uh, this council helped us. That is the reason for this council, is to help the residents of Van Nuys and the neighbors of Van Nuys and make this a better place to live. And that will certainly be my goal as president uh, which is what should be done here and is the primary purpose of it. Uh, I agree that we need to change the bylaws. We need to expedite these meetings. Uh, we need to serve the residents. And in particular, I believe we need to clean up this entire area over here on Van Nuys Boulevard. Uh, when I look at it, before I lived in Van Nuys, I lived in Santa Monica. I remember what Third Street used to look like. It looked worse than Sam Van Nuys Boulevard does now. Now it's the Third Street promenade that everybody knows and loves. I believe the same thing could be done here. There's no reason why not. It's a question of will. It's a question of political leadership. It's a question of having leadership at the congressional and city council level that's responsive to us. And that's what I would like to do uh, if elected. And I hope I have your vote. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you, board members, for uh, entertaining us in this beautiful last four years of service, Mr. Thomas, and uh, everyone on the executive board. Um, but the reason I want to run is I want to bring a level of sophistication to this board 
and I would really like to see a lot of delegation. I would like to see powerful chairmen of committees that are getting things done out in the field and that those then bring back to our executive committee and that will in and of itself hopefully correct some of the issues we have where we have these extraneously long meetings. Um, the second thing I'd like to do is I'd like to see uh, a lot more of a grand vision for Van Nuys Boulevard, for all these other places presented by the board. We should be leading and driving our elected officials on what we would like to see specifically happening down Van Nuys Boulevard, whether we create a special district or whether we create Old Town or whether we create an arts district like other people have created, uh, whatever it is, we should all ha come to an agreement on it, consensus on it, and then we should make sure that we have our field officers, our field committees. Sure, we don't have money to, to spend like, uh, you know, our, our exalted uh, school board members, unfortunately, but, you know, it, like, like Jason said, even if that means taking uh, uh, a couple hours out of your week to go ahead and make that trip down to uh, a, pr a person's office to see how we can get these things executed. I know Carino spends a lot of time, he's a great example, and I think that that's the type of thing that I like to see across all our committees, uh, just like we see in our Planning and Land Use Committee. Um, so, th thank you very much. Well, hopefully we won't be here till 1 p 1 a.m. or 12 12 midnight because that's the way we'll organize our meetings. We are, so what are you do? Nine o'clock. That's Steve Friedman. Question for everyone. That was a question. Hey, hey, hey. Order. Quiet. Order. They're, they're on date. Um, What's that committee called? Um, so in all three, answer the question. Oh, what is that? With property and building. No, the club. Yeah, they're all clumped together. So she's sleeping with him. With him. Because he's, a, he's an attorney for construction. Yeah. All right, so. You see how people are? Special Obviously interest. Obviously, the president oh, has to sure. be here the whole time, so uh, if the meeting runs, I don't know how to uh, create Mr. Those. Ackerman, would you answer the question? Sure. Please? All right, so I want to be very clear. Why my goal is to get us out by 9. I'm prepared to stay here all night if necessary. I do not want it to go to that point, but I am very serious about having meetings be efficient and happen uh, the way we are trying to make them happen. This meeting tonight happened in no small part because I went to Dunn and I told him you cannot cancel our meeting. I got George, we wrangled. I, no, I, I, I told Mr. Benjamin, but we I, I met Mr. Benjamin worked yesterday. George and I worked today. We got this meeting saved. We got it, you know, and, and they were going to cancel it on it, set the last minute. So I'm very serious about having our meetings done um, in, in the proper way um, and respecting the people's time. But I do want to get us out of here by 9. Uh, part of the plan for that is um, uh, having the committees meet so we can get stuff on the consent calendar um, to, uh, uh, yeah to vet some of these things and also to set time limits. We need to set time limits. We can't just give everybody carte blanche. We give the public two minutes. We should give, you know, unless someone's a presenter where they give us, where they say, oh, we'll need 15 minutes. You know, we should be honest about how much time we're expecting of our, of our, um, of our speakers. And that is important to enforce to get us, you know, out of here by nine or to at least have a fair understanding of when we'll be out of here. Okay, Mr. Lynn. Well, uh, my record speaks for itself. I've been to virtually every meeting since I was elected. I have never left a meeting early, and I certainly won't start once I'm elected president. However, having said that, I would agree uh, with my counterparts that a lot of extraneous time is spent here uh, on things that, shall we say, are not particularly productive, and we could speed it up. Uh, we could put time limits on it. We could force them better. Uh, the president is smiling at me. I'm sure he's tried all of those, and they didn't work. But uh, my heart is in the right place. But as far as staying here, uh, I'm always here, and I always will be. Very good.
Let's turn on. All right, so while my intentions, much like everyone has said, is to make sure that we are out of here in a timely fashion, I would, I, if I'm running a meeting, of course I would take the responsibility and be here for the entire time that is required in order to run that meeting. So I don't think that that was, is, is an issue. So uh, really the issue is how do we fix the, the overall problem of being here to one every single meeting. And that's what I would like to do. Very good. And may I make a no. comment about it briefly? No, no. We're asking oh, no. questions. questions. We're asking yeah. questions. Okay. Well, my question is, well, but I have, I have my, <laughs> they all answered yeah. it. They answered it. Yeah. Now all, right. Right. all right, all right, all right. All right. Let's Sir, there was a correction that Mr. Right. Benjamin is the one that made this meeting happen. I think that was done all day today. And, and sir, I like you. No, I really didn't. I really didn't. It was it was George and and Mr. Ackerman who 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 put this meeting together. I fought this meeting all the way. My question is: Irony. Working on the bylaws is going to change anything because this committee did and Dunn did not accept those bylaws as they wrote their own and put them in online. So do you really think that's going to change everything? It won't. I don't think. So you need to come up with a better. Okay. Is that a question or a statement? It's, the question is, do you really think you can do it? Because no one's done it before. It wasn't from time to try. There's no need to change the bylaws to execute what we want. With, there, uh, there, there, Mr. There. Lynn. Mr. Lynn, will you answer uh, Ms. Hoff's question? Donna? I didn't know she asked one. Did you ask a question? What was it? How will changing, how will changing the bylaws, no, I, really, how will changing the bylaws change it? Change this problem. What we just saw here is an example of this problem. We're trying to answer questions of the candidates, and everybody starts blabbling and fighting and yelling from the audience. Uh, you know, no sense of irony there. Obviously, changing the bylaws in and of themselves is not going to solve the problem. What's going to solve the problem is we have stricter time limits if people stay on topic and if people uh, limit themselves to discussing what we're discussing rather than interrupting each other, yelling from the audience, making sarcastic comments, making faces, and otherwise acting in a juvenile fashion. Now, can we do that? I don't know, but we can sure try. Yeah, right. uh, Mr. Anand. Um, yeah. So, you know, uh, changing the bylaws is not rocket science. It's just that Dunn wants to have their stamp on everything. So they did accept certain parts of the bylaws, and they didn't accept another part of the bylaws. And a lot of that had to do with the sustainability committee and, um, unfortunately, the events that took place around that. So I don't think that changing the bylaws wasn't going to be a problem. I think the problem occurred due to extraneous circumstances. So if we did want to change the bylaws and we were proper about how we went about it, I do believe that they would accept those changes. Mr. Ackerman. All right, so a couple of very uh, clear ways the, the change in the bylaws could help things. First off, there, it does not say anywhere in our bylaws that we have a sergeant at arms or a parliamentarian. Those are honorary, those are positions that we created on top of our bylaws that are in what are supposed to be called standing rules, but we've lost our standing rules. So we need to recreate the standing rules. That The standing rules also, by the way, are where we can say we don't need to have a roll call vote on non-funding votes. That would save us at least two minutes of vote if we didn't have to, if we could just say all opposed, all abstain, and everyone else is, in, is automatically in favor. The secretary could record that um, per person. So it looked like a roll call vote, but in practice it would take less time than a roll call vote. Um, another way that um, changing the bylaws could help um, is we have Robert's Rules of Order in our bylaws. Nobody follows Robert's Rules of Order as they're written because first off, Robert's Rules doesn't know jack about the Brown Act, and second off, Robert's Rules is written for a daily meeting body. So um, we are, you know, uh, we are in the 21st century. We are very far away from when Mr. Robert was writing these rules for Parliament in Britain. Um, so, uh, so there are the rules of order out there. I'd like to get the rules of order out of the bylaws and into the standing rules, the standing rules reconstructed. Um, I'd like to clearly delegate some power and responsibility in the bylaws. Um, right now, Vice President is just basically there to do whatever the President can't do or the other executive officers can't do. 
I would like to give the vice president authority over the committees. If the president didn't have to spend the time herding cats to run the committees and the vice president had that responsibility, that would free up some time for the president to do his, his job or her job, or I guess his job since we're all uh, male candidates here. Um, and that would uh, give the vice president something to do other than wait for a crisis. Um, and it would also give the incent some incentive to the committee chairs to actually meet because they'd have somebody making sure that they can that they do and can meet on a proper schedule. And that way, these uh, very many items that we come before this board are vetted before the committee. And if the committee gives it unanimous consent, we can put it on a consent calendar and we can vote these things, you know, through the board and, and save a lot of time that way. So those are some some specific ways in which overhauling the bylaws actually will save some time. Very good. All right, next question. Anyone? Are all of the members running Van Nuys residents? Uh, I know Jason lives like right down the street. I Jeff definitely lives in Van Nuys, Quad yeah. Road. He lives in Sherman Oaks. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> that he lives within the boundaries of Van Nuys Neighborhood Council, and that's all that's necessary. The, there's nothing that says in the bylaws that you have to live within the district. You just have to qualify as a board member. And, uh, okay, so uh, the, what the question is, where do you live? Yes. Okay, you're on the board. But his place of business is here. Yes, it qualifies him. Ms. Ackerman lives here. Mm-hmm. Lynn lives here. My neighbor. And Mr. Friedman is, has, uh, has a, a place of business. He lives here. south of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Uh, Donna, oh, God, you're an idiot. Yeah. Let's start with Mr. Ackerman on this. Um, I, I would say, in general, yes. We will still honor your public comment time for two minutes if you if you cannot make it uh, at the beginning of the meeting. However, um, some forward con uh, communication would be much appreciated if you want that that um, accommodation. So if you if you know you're not going to be able to make it on time, just call one of us or text one or email one of us. So just let us know you're going to be running late, and, and to hold your public comment card or have a friend say. You know, X is running late. You know, please hold time for the end of the meeting. I, um, I, I will say that what Mr. Lazarovitz said is actually very fair. That it does depend on the meeting. Sometimes we tend to jam pack our agenda. Um, but I do. Th but as one of the people who's regularly making public comment um, at other meetings, uh, including in this room for the Metro Regional Advisory Council, um, I, re I really understand the need for public comment. I also want to. Uh, mentioned that, that I am n still fighting for us to get the video conferencing back to Van Nuys. We don't have to slip down to City Hall to make public comment on uh, City Council mo motions. But yes, I will respect the, the right of the public to speak uh, within two minutes as long as they respect our time and stay within two minutes. Okay, Mr. Anon. So as we currently do our, our agendas, we have a, uh, a, a um, a point for public comment at the beginning and we have a point for public comment at the end. So I would continue to honor that same thing. It would just be the same way our agenda currently works, except this time we would just make sure we follow our agenda and try to hold everyone to the timing that we set so that we try to run the meetings as efficiently as possible. Excellent. Mr. Lynn. Yes, yeah, so same. Obviously, we need to respect the right of the public to make public comment, but they need to respect uh, our time too and we have to do this within a manageable time frame. So uh, I would concur that uh, any such comments be held to two to three minutes. Very good. Any further questions? Here, here. You. Yeah. Um, the question is, is uh, since you were talking, mention of the bylaws and everything, it also means that the president might have to be the chairman of the bylaws committee in order to make it happen. Um, are you willing to be not only president, but also chairman of the bylaws committee to actually get it done. Start with Mr. Lynn. Yes. Uh, short and sweet. Uh, yeah, I was formerly the uh, president, uh, the chairman of the bylaws committee, and I, 
I certainly have a, a, a deep understanding of some of the issues that would be faced. Mr. Ackerman. Um, if necessary, as president, to chair the bylaws committee to make these re reforms happen, I will. However, I would much rather delegate that task to our parliamentarian, whose job it is to know the bylaws in and out. If the, bar if the parliamentarian is not willing to do the job, then I will step up and, help and fill that void. Excellent. Any further questions? You want to call for the vote? All right, so council, we, uh, you can, sorry? You can't vote for one at a time. We're going to, uh, you'll be able to cast your vote for any of the four, Ackerman, Lynn, Friedman, or Anon, and that's basically it. Do you want to just? I'll do it. I already put it out here. May I ask right. a question? Is there a runoff or it's just the one vote? There would be a runoff if there yeah, is a tie, a obviously. All right. There's four candidates? Mr. Thomas. No. I do like all of the candidates. Four, one. And, uh, I'm glad you guys are running, that's good. Uh, but I did pledge my vote and give my word to Mr. Ackerman, so I'll be casting my ballot for Mr. Ackerman. Very good. Thank you. Myself, Mr. Benjamin, um, I brought Jason into this organization. I, I feel that I, I, I have worked with each one of you and I respect each one of you greatly, but I have to vote for Mr. Ackerman because that's who I brought into this organization. Mr. Pessoa. I'm going to pledge my vote to Jason Ackerman. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Stacey Rains. Um, Jason Ackerman. Myself. <laughs> Paul Anon. That would have been funny. Uh, should I vote for that? No, I guess I'll vote myself. myself. All right. <laughs> Mr. Camara. I like all three candidates. I think they've done a lot on our council. Um, I respect each one as a colleague and a professional, but my favor right now is for Jeffrey Lind. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Mr. De La Cuesta. Um, <coughs> this is a tough one because I get to know uh, each one of you uh, for the past three years. Uh, uh, especially with Mr. Lynn as far as uh, working at the election committee and everything. Um, and, and also with uh, Jason, who's a sustainability guru, um, somewhat. Uh, but uh, I would have to go with Mr. Lynn because he's been here long enough and, and knows as much as the neighborhood as uh, some of the longtime residents who's been here. Okay, we're moving down to Jacob Lynn. Yeah. Hello. Well, interesting is, you know, there's two candidates here who I think would make it is for not a conflict of interest. We are voting. Excuse, excuse me. I'm, I am trying to cast my vote as a member of this council. Please show me the, the respect due to this position. Thank you. I would like to say that there are two candidates here I think who would make excellent presidents. Both my, yes, my person I'm related to, my father, Jeffrey Lynn, but also Jason Ackerman. Whoever gets, you know, between those two, I think would push this council to greater heights. However, I, my father does, ha I has been here longer, so cast, cast my vote for Jeffrey Lynn, but either way, whoever wins, I think will push this council towards a better and brighter future, so thank you. All right, John Hendry. Without flaw, Jeffrey Lynn. <laughs> Thanks, Ken. Joseph Lazarovitz. Mr. Lynn. I'll vote for myself. Jerry Martin. Uh, Jason. Thank you. Victoria Marin. Veronica Marin. Jeffrey Lynn. It's Veronica, I'm sorry. Ms. Myers. Uh, I'll go with Thank you. Ms. Patton? Anon. Have I missed anyone? Um, Maria. 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 Oh, I had her marked as absent. Yes, I came late. Sorry, I was late. I went to urgent care in Kaiser, 
And then I went to the event at Selmar, and then I rushed over here. So I will be leaving kind of early because I don't feel good. But I would like to vote for Lynn, but I do like um, Jason. Jason. I do like him because he stays on me with my emails, with events and stuff that's going on. So if there's a vice president vote, if I'm not here, my vote would be for him if he decides to run for that. So your vote is for? Um, Jeff. Jeff. All right, holy shit, I'm winning. Yeah, got it. Of course she can. That some vote's not finished yet. Uh, yes, you can change your vote if you want to. Who? You can change their vote. Uh, I'd like to change my vote. Is this an is this an ongoing process, Mr. I President? Don't, or I don't know. I mean, is that, is that it? Everyone voted. You can't change your vote. You uh, until the vote until the vote has been tallied, you can change your vote. Is that the? Maybe you should do. Maybe you should do a runoff. Do we have? If there's a change of mind. I had seven votes each. And Paul has three votes, so we would have a runoff yeah. between Jason and Jeff. Is that correct? Oh, uh, Stacy. Hmm? Stacy. Stacy voted for who? Nan and changed it to Jason? Yeah. I, I show that uh, that Mr. Lynn has eight votes, and Mr. Ackerman. Oh, oh, has Stacy changed her vote? Eight, is it 8-7? 8-7. Let's, let's go, down, go down the eight, list eight, because eight, this is obviously a little important. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I cast my <laughs> Okay, I voted for Ackerman. I voted for Ackerman. Okay. Mr. Pessoa voted for Ackerman. Ms. Raines voted for Ackerman. Jason voted for himself. Okay. Jerry Martin voted for Ackerman. And Penny Meyer voted for Ackerman. So what does that add up? One, two, three, four, seven. five, six, seven. seven. Right. I can make this very simple. I would like to change my vote for Mr. Lynn. Huh? Well Thank you, Paul. Right. It, it, it is now nine. Nine to seven. Mr. Lynn is the president. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Oh, God, help me. Do I have to run the rest of this election? Yes. That was just a safety in case. Good here. Jack, good. Congratulations. All right, I'm here for you, Jeff. So, this is Joseph. He. Uh, this is the <laughs> presidential advisor. I'm going to be down here. All right. So it's nine, seven. Ah, uh, that's seven. a bad decision. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, he will. He will. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, he's good. I nominate Jason for vice president. I second. All right. Okay. Is he running unopposed? He's running unopposed. Does anyone else want to run for vice president? Which one? You still should do a full vote. Okay. Let's do a full vote. Let's do a full vote. I nominate him. He seconded. All right. Does I accept? All right. Mr. Ackerman has been nominated for vice president. Does anyone else wish to run for vice president? No. Mr. Benjamin, do we need to go through a whole roll call, or yeah. do we just? Yeah. Well, there could uh, yes. be abstentions. There could if, be. All right. Uh, if nobody else is running, it's it's. He's running on a poll. Automatic. Call the roll. He's got to have the vote. He's got to have, have, have the roll. Do it. He's got to have the poll. Mr. Thomas. Uh, yes, I vote. It's acclamation. Okay. Mr. Pessoa. Yes. Mr. Rain. Miss Rains. Yes. Hashtag pronoun problems. 
Jason. Yes. Mr. Anand. Yes. Mr. Camara. I vote for Honorable Ackerman. Thank you. Mr. Delacue. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. Yes. Yes. Mr. Ackerman. Yes. Mr. Lynn. Jacob. Yes. Yes, I do. Mr. Hendry. Uh, since I was away, can somebody simply restate the two candidates? There are no two candidates. No. It's just me for vice president. <laughs> Mr. Ackerman. Mr. Ackerman. Mr. Lazaroba. Yes. Jeffrey Lynn. Yes. Ms. Marin. Yes. Mr. Martin. Yes. Ms. Meyer. Yes. Ms. Patton. Yes. Ms. Skelton. Yes. Full board. Congratulations, Mr. Ackerman. Thank you. Yeah. All right, moving right along. The next. Uh, All right, I am out. You're out? Uh, Ackerman, next to Mr. Benjamin. Oh, next to Benjamin. God bless you. God love you. Okay, thank you. Okay, so great. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's okay. Oh, it's a little, a little scary. You have to take here. the vote here. We're voting for Good secretary job. next. Secretary. Well, first we need people to run for secretary, right? Any volunteers for secretary? <laughs> I'm volunteering for secretary. Priscilla volunteers. Second. Priscilla Anybody volunteers. Else? Anybody else? Okay. Uh, Miss, uh, Mr. Henry Mr. is Ackerman. also. Yes. Oh, Mr. Henry, are you running for secretary? I think it's turned out. I think turned out. Would you? He can't. He's turned out. Well, he turned out. turned out. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh I have a ruling from this from the uh, city attorney's office, he run. and he cannot run. <coughs> okay, Mr. Purcell. He has to. He has. He has to. Mr. Ackerman, he has, it's for the vote. Uh, ten years on the board, okay. in an executive position, okay. 